All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, which is the name of the Most High, in ancient Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh Shai, which is, who, which is the name of who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. Um, and today I'm going to be coming to the defense of the, uh, of the apostles of, uh, of Great Millstone. Um, because over the past, uh, say for example, let's say a week and a half now, which I've been meaning to do this video for the past week, but there's been certain situations that came up that I had to handle, so I never got around to being able to sit down for maybe 45 minutes or so and make this lesson. Okay, it's, it's very simple to understand, but every year, every year we had to go over the same thing, which that's all okay, you know, the scriptures tell you that you're going to have to repeat yourself to certain people, man. Okay, so that's all right. It's, it's all good. All right, just makes, um, you know, it furthers our understanding in the scriptures. Because the more you go over things, the more you can remember it. So that's good. Um, and anyway, um, which let, let me say this. This is not just dedicated towards Captain Tazariak. I also, later on... I wanted to do a little response in this video to a YouTube user by the name of, uh, let me see real quick, Raymond Salabu. Alright, so Raymond Salabu, I want to do a, um, a little response to him after I handle Tazariak, because right, he made a bullshit claim as well. Um... But anyway, um, let's get on with Captain Tazariak. So, so what, what's the, the what's the meat? What's going on with this man? Which I'm sure a lot of you know because you've been watching GMS videos, especially from uh, Elder Apostle uh, Gabar. All right, because he made maybe I want to say maybe five or six videos dealing with Tazariak. Okay, which Tazariak, you know, for for being a captain, so called, he clearly just is just emotional man, and he he's not dealing with the scriptures. He isn't dealing with the scriptures. He's going off of his own personal opinion. So basically what happened, which I don't got the clip with me here, but you can look it up. Um, and even, um, even uh, what's his name? Yeah, even uh, Apostle Gabar shows it in one of his videos. But basically they were having a, uh, a radio show like they usually do. Um, and basically to Zariac, and the other minion he was with, <laughs> inside joke, um, basically, they ended up bringing up uh, another Israelite group. Um, and the whole thing was about um, one of the men from that group. He actually married, or maybe he didn't marry, but he's, you know, going out with a, um, a lady who is 17 years old. And this man is well up in his... You know, I believe Faraday's. All right. So, um, yeah, that's that's why they got on and said, oh, that's, you know, such pervertedness. But what they don't understand is in the scriptures, it says that a man can do that. So that's why all these brothers have been getting on to Zariac. Because he clearly bore false witness. The scriptures say thou should not bear false witness. And then, of course, he came on, uh, Elder Apostle Gabar's YouTube page and tried to argue in the comment section, saying, oh, you guys are sexual deviants. You know, only a perverted beetle file would find a person who's 12 years old attractive. Which, that's a damn lie. All right, which, first of all, when you deal with the scriptures, clown, you're clearly going to see, you're clearly going to see that your statements are false. Okay, and, and you've already been disproven by multiple other brothers before. Okay, but I'm going to give my stance on it, and I'm just going to prove you wrong even more. All right. Uh, let me get something first. Let's go to the book of, uh, let's say, Proverbs. And bear with me a second while I look for it. Proverbs chapter 12 and uh, verse 23. 
Okay. Proverbs 12 and 23. A prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the heart of the fools proclaimeth foolishness. Right, so this brother proclaims foolishness right here, going off his personal opinion. Right? Saying, oh, I don't see, I don't see how anybody who, you know, claim to be of the most high could be attracted to, to, to these these children as he calls them which first of all you don't even know what the word child even means and you know second of all we, which we're not supposed to go by what Esau says but I just want to point out that that dude I mentioned earlier that Tazariac got on it turns out that the state that that he, he got with that young lady in well in that state he can do it it's so-called legal, and I say legal sarcastically, because any of you, Akim, who've done any research, well, you know by reading uh, the book The Most Dangerous Superstition by Larkin Rose, then you know there's no such thing as uh, uh, um, as government. Which, if you haven't read that yet, well, you better you better go ahead and find some time to read that or listen to the audiobook on YouTube. Once again, The Most Dangerous Superstition by Larkin Rose. Must read book. But anyway... Um, you know, <laughs> even going by Esau, it's legal in the state that that man lived in to get with that 17-year-old. <laughs> so it's it's like Sakari, or not Sakari, um, ISUPK, right? Captain Tazariak is uh, captain of ISUPK. Um, well, you clearly see they're just emotional and they don't go off with the scriptures. And we're going to get the sketches. We're going to get the sketches that clearly show what we're teaching. Okay? First, let me go ahead and get something. All right, bear with me. Okay. Uh... Okay, um, I wanted to get this, because if this brother actually studied the scriptures, well, he wouldn't be here to make such a foolish accusation. Uh, the book of uh, 2 Timothy, chapter 2 and 15, it says, Study to show yourself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. See, this brother isn't rightfully dividing the word of Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai. All right, he's taking things out of context. And trying to, you know, use slander as an argument. But he can't actually go into the scriptures and prove any of his statements. Okay? Um, so my first question would be to this brother. And as I said, the this is, this is old here because the apostles already brought this out. But I'm going to bring this out and I want to share something as well. Alright? Let me go ahead and find it real quick. Uh... Okay, open up right to it. Uh, the book of uh, 1 Kings 1 and 1. Let's just read this. The book of Kings chapter 1, verse 1. Now King David was old and stricken in years, and they covered him with clothes, but he got no heat. Therefore his servant said unto him, Let there be salt for my lord, the king, a young virgin, and let her stand before the king, and let her cherish him, and let her lie in thy bosom, that my lord, the king, may get heat. So they sought for a fair damsel throughout all the coast of Israel, and they found Amashach, a Shumanite, and brought her to the king. And the damsel was very fair, and cherished the king, and ministered unto him. But the king knew her not. Now why did the king not know her? Because he was on his deathbed, so he couldn't, um, he really couldn't sleep with a woman anymore. But they brought it, he brought, they brought this young woman to him to clearly check if, if he could still, you know, uh, sleep with a woman. Because they knew if he couldn't, well, that pretty much means that he's out of there. They got to look for a new ruler. Okay, now the point of the matter is that this old man, right, this old man was on his deathbed. Now, if you know uh, about the ancient world, you know that men could live a very long time, far longer than they can today. So King David was probably at least 100 years old or around that uh, time of life. 
Um, but then the point of the matter is they brought him a young virgin. Now, how, now how young would this woman usually be? And let me ask you that, because, you know, he gave the answer, and he said that the damsel here would be talking about a person who's either 17, 18, 19 years old. Now, my, my question would be, is what, um, what scripture can you give to support this statement? And the answer is you can give none, okay, because it's not in there. None, zero, not an inside joke. Um, <laughs> it's not in the scriptures. All right, so th these brothers are going off. And going off their own personal opinion. They're not really dealing with what the scriptures teach. All right? Because the answer to this is this young woman was most likely around the age of, say, 12 to 15 years old. Okay, There was no woman in Israel who would go past 15. And if it did happen, it was very unlikely. Okay, There's no woman who would go past 15 without being married. Okay, Very, very uncommon. Uh, let's see. And I want to give my own <laughs> little experience real quick, man. All right, because when I when I was 16, right? And listen up. When I was 16, I used to work um, with a woman who was 34 years old. Okay? So this woman, you can do the math. She's <laughs> older than I am. But yet, I still had attraction towards this older person. Now, now is that wicked? No, that's not wicked. Because I was a biological adult, just attracted to another biological adult, okay? But the, the reason I'm bringing that up is as, as um, say for example, as everyone is saying that, it is true that young women are attracted to, to older guys too, okay? And it's just a fact. Young women are attracted to older guys. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Okay, now you guys, now maybe you don't remember, depending on how old you are, but back in school, right, around, you know, 12, 13, and I speak from experience, you know, if you had an attractive teacher, well, hey, you were probably looking at her. And we all <laughs> can mostly attest to that, almost all of us. Um, and why is that? And why is that? Because you become a man... When you're 12 or 13 years old. Okay, so we're not supposed to be up in these school buildings with, uh, you know, with, with women teaching you uh, whatever it is, that whatever the curriculum is. All right, that's, that's this Western culture. But that's not, when we deal with real life, that's not the way things are supposed to be. And that takes us to the whole schooling issue. Because schooling is not biblical. Schooling was just something that was created around 100 years ago. All right, around the time of uh, the artificial extension of childhood, okay? Because, you know, and this shows your lack of intelligence to Zariac. Because if you actually did your research, you'd know that even here in America, which is Babylon, right? That not too long ago, just 100 years ago, or even, <laughs> not even 100 years ago, 80 years ago, 60 years ago, it, it could still happen. Not likely, though. But 80 years ago, man. Here in America, an older man could get with a young woman who is, say, 14 years old. And just look it up. It's true. It is true. Okay? It is true. So how, how do you respond to that? Okay? And listen here to Zariac. Now, I'm not going to say this is 100% fact because I don't know you nor your family. But going on statistics, right, it's a great possibility that your grandfather's father, and if not him, then his father, probably got with a woman who was very young. And why can I say that by not even knowing who you are and your family? Very simple, based on the time period that they were living in. Okay, so let me say that again. If most likely your grandparents' parents, and if not them, then their parents, probably married when they were very young, or... If they didn't marry when they were both very young, then it was an older man who got with a younger woman. And there's an 80% chance, and that's even an understatement, of what I just said, just based on the time period of when they were living. Okay? So I'm sure you didn't know that either. Okay? Now I have a question. I got a question. Um, let me pull this up real quick. I want to ask uh, to Zariac 
this. The city basically made a statement that nobody would consider a 12-year-old a woman just because she she's bleeding, just because she can have a, a menstrual cycle. Well, it's like, dumbass, well, <laughs> what is a menstrual cycle there for? It's for there to uh, uh, have children, okay? So you're going to tell me the most time messed up? Did the most time mess up? And for all you guys out there who claim that, oh, well, that only happens today because the... Uh, because everything's messed up, but it's not common around that, that age. Well, that's not true, though, because even going back to the time of Christ, that's when it happened, around 12, 13 years old. And the earth was in its right state back then. Now, today you have something called a pre puberty, which basically is a, a woman hits sexual maturity way earlier than it's natural. All right, and why is that happening? Because Esau is in rulership, okay, because of the chemicals in the food, and, you know, all that, that's what can um, bring on pre precocious puberty. Okay, it's very simple to understand. Uh, let me see real quick. I'm just looking for the book of Ezekiel. There it is. Uh, I want you to listen here to Zariac. Um, my question is, is um, who you call, right, or, you know, Yahawashai, right? Is Yahawashai? Um, a perverted pedophile. Okay, because you said, out of your own mouth, that uh, it's or a GMS or sexual deviance because they find, or you know, not even not even GMS because they're not going out and doing it. Okay, so they're not they're not attracted to women who are you know 12, 14, 15 years old. Uh, they don't find them attractive. All right. They're just simply brought out the point that in the ancient world, and even today it still happens in certain places, men would take young women to be their wives. <laughs> it's just what happens. But Jesus even said this about Israel. And I'm going to show you this to Zariac. So my question to you would be, um, is the Most High, right? Or the Son of the Most High, I should say. Whatever one you want to say. Because all things written come from inspiration of the Most High. All right, but this is the most high comparing Israel to a little girl growing up to becoming a woman. Okay, so does this fall under your category of sexual deviance? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start at uh, the first verse. The main point is in 7 and 8. But we're, just to get a proper understanding of what we're reading, we're going to start from verse 1. So this is Ezekiel, the 16th chapter, the first verse. It says, And again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man calls Jerusalem to know her abominations, and say, Thus says Yahweh unto Jerusalem, Thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite and a mother a Hittite. And as for thy nativity, the day when thou was born, thy navel was not cut, neither was thou swallowed in water to supply thee. Neither was thou salted at all, nor swallowed at all. None I'd pity thee to do any of these things unto thee, to have compassion upon thee. But when but thou was cast out into the open field, to the loathing of thy person, in the day when thou was born, and when I when I slock it, and when I passed by thee, and saw thee polluted in thine own blood, I said unto thee, When thou was in thy blood, live, yea. I said unto thee, When thou was in thy blood, live. Now listen here. These next two verses are going to be the uh, the main point. Okay, again, this is Jerusalem being compared to a little girl growing up to becoming a woman. It says, I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field, and thou hast increased and waxed great. Thou art come to excellent ornaments, thy breasts are fashioned, and your hair is grown, whereas when thou was naked and bare, but now when I pass by thee and look upon thee, behold, thy time was the time of love. I spread my skirt over thee and entered into Islakia. I spread my skirt over over thee and covered thy nakedness. Yea, I swear unto thee and entered into a covenant with thee, says Yahweh, and now became his mine. Right, so the Lord basically compared Israel to a little girl growing up to becoming a woman, and when she hit puberty is when the Lord took her to be his wife. And again, it's, it's not, you know, physical. It's just a parabolic uh, 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 um, saying, okay? But the point of the matter is very clear. Okay, the Lord would have taken Israel as his own when she hit sexual maturity. So how do you get around that? How do you get around that? <laughs> it's, come on. So 
by your saying, you got to say it, yeah, well, you know, yeah, yeah, how was shy is sexual deviance then, right? Or the most high. Come on, man. Stop, stop being, <laughs> see this, hey, I haven't seen a sucker this soft since a panicula. <laughs> Inside joke. Pretty much that's all I wanted to deal with, uh, to Zariac on. Because he clear, hey, he just got cut six ways to Sunday with the sketches. And look, man, me next to Zariac, I'd be considered to be a novice because I have only been in the truth for six years. This man been in it, I believe, I believe, what, tw over 20 years, if I'm not mistaken. But the point of the matter is very simple, man. The scriptures tell you, uh, what is that? I believe it's uh, Psalms, the 39th chapter. It says, for, for my age, as there's nothing before the Lord. And every man in his greatest state, it is altogether vanity. Okay, the scriptures also say, great men are not always wise, neither do the aged understand judgment. Okay. Um, now, real quick before I go, as I said, I wanted to do a, <laughs> a second response to another user. Um, basically, it's on the same topic. Um, but he just came with a different approach, which I find this to be a <laughs> preposterous. Uh, this is not on my video. Ironically enough, this actually is a comment left by uh, Raymond Talagu. I hope, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. It's lucky of my, my man if I'm not, if you're watching this video, which I'm going to send you a link to it. Um, I'm going to read his comments. Basically, he left a comment on a, a video where basically somebody calls out to Zariac on the same subject I'm doing right now. Okay, so this brother came on here, and I call him brother loosely, just being sarcastic. Um, so I'm going to read the discussion that we had. I'm going to start with his comment. There was two comments, so two discussions that we had. Um... So his first comment, which was not to me, it was just left on the video that I responded to. It says, brothers need to reevaluate that scripture. It is unseemingly to be with a 17-year-old or be grooming a child at 15 to the legal age of consent. Brothers, please reevaluate that without respect to persons to what your elder said. All right, now let's even get the scripture that he's... Uh, referring to. Let's see if we need to reevaluate what we're teaching. Okay, you see, he, he tries to use slick words to try to make himself look smart. But now we're going to find out that he's going off. Alright, let's read this. What is there in this verse that we need to reevaluate? Okay, I, I mean, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Let's, let's get the verse he's referring to. Um... Verse Corinthians 7 and 36, it says, But if any man thinks that he behaves himself uncommonly towards his virgin, if she pass the flower of her age and needs so require, let him do what he will. He sins not. Let them marry. What is there that needs to be reevaluated in that scripture? If you go back to the book of Leviticus, the 15th chapter, I believe it's the 24th verse, you find out. That for a woman's menstrual cycle, it uses the same word, flowers, there. Look it up. Okay? <laughs> Some guys just act damn lazy, man. All right, look it up. Do the research yourself. And you're going to find out that what the apostles of GMS, and my, myself included, what we're teaching is just the truth, man. Okay? Nobody's teaching to go out and do it. We're simply just mentioning, it. hey, you know, this is just what the scriptures teach. And it is what it teaches. All right, which, which, you know, you guys, as I said, if you even knew your country's own history, well, you'd know that just 80 years ago to 100 years ago, they used to follow this same custom here in America. So how do you get around that one? Come on, man. <laughs> Acting damn foolish. All right. So as we've seen, we clearly read the scripture. There's nothing that needs to be reevaluated. And I find it funny he uses the word child. Because, first of all, a child is a person who's in between birth to puberty by very definition. So how could a person who's 15 years old be a damn child? That's damn foolishness. All right. So I responded and said, Now how is a 15-year-old a child, my brother? 
You're acting with emotion, not logic, and not dealing with the scriptures. Now let me ask you this. According to the scriptures, what age does a girl become a woman? Then he responds and said, Brother, there was no emotionism in anything, I said. And it wasn't irrational at all. A young girl becomes a woman when her hips expand and her breasts fully develop. When she is fully developed, her child bearing is when she is a woman. <laughs> so so this brother, I'm, I'm completely at a loss for words. He literally, what's the word I'm looking for? Contradicted himself in his own comment. He said, well, oh, but, but a girl's not a woman until her body, you know, she gets those secondary sexual characteristics. But then the, under that, he said, well, once she's fully you know, ready to bear a child is when she becomes a woman. Well, <laughs> come on, man. You literally just contradicted yourself because both those things are not the same, okay? I don't know if you knew this or not, but a, a female begins to develop, um, you know, uh, 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 bigger hips and uh, uh, breast when she's uh, around 9 or 10 years old, okay? And why is that? The reason that happens is it starts a little early. They're called, uh, uh, um, oh, what's it called? Secondary sexual characteristics. They start a little early. So, yes, we're not saying that just when you see that you can go sleep with her. No, we're not saying that. That's wicked. That's going off because she's developing into a woman. Okay? And the point when she becomes a woman is when she has her period because that means that her body is now ready to give birth to a baby. Okay, so you just made a damn fool out of yourself right here. And I want to I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. So if you're saying that a girl isn't a woman until her breasts are big and she got, you know, hips, well, I got a question for you. There's many women out here in this society who are 13, 14, 15 years old who look more grown up than some women who are 25 years old. So are you going to tell me that those 25-year-olds, oh, they're not women because their breasts aren't big? Neither do they got, you know, basically they're, they, they call them, a, 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 you know, they're flat chested. All right. So you're telling me that this flat chested 25 year old, oh, she's not a woman. But yeah, she can give birth to a baby. But then this 15 year old who has big breast and a big ass, right? And she can give birth to a child. Oh, she's not a woman, though. She's a little girl. How goddamn foolish can you be, man? Come on. Stop that like a damn fool. All right, you, you just you made a damn fool out of yourself right there with your own comment. Okay, so you you better check yourself, my man. Okay, because as of right now, you, you're just, <laughs> hey, you're phony baloney, man. You're phony baloney, and you, you're not, you see, man, you're not fooling any of us, man, with your bullshit. Okay, you, you thought you were so smart, but guess what? Now you became a damn fool. Okay, with your own comment. I'm, ex I'm totally destroying you with your own comment. Okay, I think this is so idiotic and foolish, I think we have to read this again. We, we have to read this comment one more time. He responds to me and says, Brother, there was no emotionism in anything. I said, and it wasn't irrational at all. A young girl, listen here, a young girl becomes a woman when her hips expand and her breasts fully develop. When she... Fully develops for childbearing is when she becomes a woman. So again, I'm going to ask you again. Since you just called a 15-year-old 15 year old a child and they comment above, this is, this is going to show how damn foolish you are. So you're telling me that 15-year-old is, is a child, but yet many 15-year-olds in this society, have they look more sexually mature than some 25-year-olds, as they brought out. And it's just a damn fact. It is a damn fact. It's a, it's a goddamn fact, man. Excuse my language. But I'm getting pissed off at this, this damn demon, man. All right, and, I, and let me say this. When I call him a demon, I think he might be truly sincere with what he's saying. Okay, but he is sincerely wrong. Sincerely wrong. Now, I want you to answer for me, what is the damn difference between a woman who's 15 and 25 years old? So you're really going to tell me, oh, well, she's only 15. Even though she looks like a damn fully grown woman. And this 25-year-old looks like a little-ass girl with no breast. But yeah, she's a woman and this 15-year-old's a damn child. <laughs> Come on, man. How, how goddamn foolish can you be, man?
Come on. You, you literally prove that you are incorrect in your own comment. And let me say this, man. Going back to school, man, I'm sure all of us can, can remember. Hey, look, man. I remember that around 12 to 13, even some 11-year-olds started to look good, man. Okay? And I can remember that. I can remember it. And if you disagree, well, <laughs> just take a look when the next time you go to the store, man. You, you see these, uh, they call them today adolescents, but, you know, adolescence is just a modern invention. There is no such stage of life where a person is not yet a adult, but yet they can have their own offspring. That's that's the Illuminati, or, you know, who they call the Illuminati, uh, 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 false teaching. Okay, a, a New World Order agenda. Which, it's not an agenda because it already came to pass a hundred years ago. Okay. Uh, Psalms 94 and 20. Should a throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, they who frame mischief by a law? Right, so the Lord isn't with their wickedness. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and read some more. I don't think he responded to my comment that I left him. However, I did respond to that foolishness that he clearly said there. Let's read my response to him. I said, are you saying when she can have a baby, she is a woman? Or what you're, or, or, slucky, or what you're saying does not make sense. Second of all, women's bodies are different. I've seen 14-year-olds who are more thick than some 25-year-olds. So if you're saying it's based on secondary sexual characteristics, then again, you just proven you don't know much. Your, uh, you don't even understand your own argument. And again, you don't even understand your own argument, my man. Come on. <laughs> this is damn foolishness right here. Oh, this, this is a good conversation. This is the second, right, the, the second, uh, uh, oh man, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the second interlude. <laughs> the second interlude me and this, this, uh, this brother right here had. On the same video, may I also mention. Uh, anyway, he left a comment and said, and this isn't to me, this is to the guy who uploaded the video his comment to, said, a little girl having her period at nine is not a woman. Breasts need to fully develop and hips expand. A little girl can die if she bear children at nine, 10, 11 years old without being fully developed. Now, wait a second, brother. If you watch the video, nobody's talking about a woman who's nine, 10 years old. That's not natural. The reason that happens is because of the so-called, I'll just call him E for the sake of not getting this video taken down. The reason that happens is because E puts it, all these chemicals in these food that these women eat. Okay, and, and another thing as well, that based on the society we live in, right, with the stuff going on on TV, and I, I'm working on a video now that shows you they got apps out there that promote, uh, 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 um, sexual acts and they're, they're these apps are dedicated towards little children man okay so all these things you see on tv and in magazines it's absolutely everywhere even in these schools all right hey, all these things they can bring on puberty early okay they can bring on early menstruation which again is not natural it's not supposed to happen but the reason that happens is job 9 24 for the earth is given into the hands of the wicked okay it's very simple, okay? And I, just two years ago, I went on and I had a debate with Cherry Love of the, um, uh, what is it called? The Shield Squad. Okay, I believe it's a Shield Squad. Um, we had a two-hour debate on it. I just joined the show, and I absolutely slaughtered them on the subject. And one thing she brought up to try to disprove me was, what about if a woman has her period at nine? And I explained that that's not natural. And that only happens in today's society because of all of the chemicals. However, it is natural and always has and always will be for it to happen around 11 to 14 years old, which is just an average. Okay? That's what's normal. Okay? Before that, that is, that's, that's not normal. That only happens because of what this man is doing, his wickedness. That's the only reason that those things happen. Okay, so we are to use logic and understand, okay, well, that's not natural. Okay, however, around 11 to 14 years old is when it is natural. You understand? Okay, so your argument has 
been completely disproven. But anyway, let's go back to it. Then they asked him, Ezekiel 16, 7 to 8, is God a pedo? Then he said, listen here. He said, you prove my point further with that scripture. Now listen here, my man. I don't know if this brother is that actually believes in the Bible. Or he doesn't. I'm looking at his page. And he subscribed to a shit ton of GMS channels. And Sakari channels. So I would think... I would think that, um, <laughs> you know, that he believes in the scriptures. I would think if, if you're subscribed to all these truth channels, then that would mean that you must believe in the scriptures in some way, way shape, and form. So if I just brought up a scripture and I asked you a question, again, Ezekiel 16, 7, and 8, is God a pedo? Question mark. And then he said, you prove my point further with that scripture. So, give me a solid answer. What are, what are you doing, man? Come on, you're acting like a damn fool. Okay, and again, I clearly read, earlier I read Ezekiel, the 16th chapter. The Lord clearly took Israel as his woman when she hit puberty. So, does, does that now make the most high a pedophile? So, you see, you're, <laughs> hey, look, man, I'm starting to think of this brother, either he, he doesn't know what he's talking about, or he might just be mentally unstable that's what i'm thinking man okay because he, he just con contradicts himself and almost every comment he puts up here he makes one good point and i already went over that about you know nine years old and i already uh went over it so again yeah that's a good point but you still went off but anyway uh i respond to him and said so i take it that you're anti-bible question mark well even if that's the case how can God be a pedo when the definition of the word pedo only applies to people who attracted to a person before puberty? Look up the word. So by very definition, you are disproven. Right, so <laughs> by very definition alone of the, what the word pedophile means, and I'll go over it real quick. The word pedophile means a child uh, uh, lover, right? An adult attracted to a child. A child, the word child means a person who is in between birth to puberty. And the word adult means a person or an organism who is sexually mature. By very definition. Okay, so... <laughs> this brother just got absolutely slaughtered, man. Okay, you, you really can't come back from what we're saying, man. Okay, hey, you've been hit by a few shells and now you're walking with Ligma. Inside. Joke. Alright, so as I said, man, you, you clearly don't know. Alright, so I'll just write you off as unlearned. Okay? So anyway, this is why... This was ETT's response to um sakari or not sakari <laughs> i keep mixing up isupk with sakari this is my response to captain tazariak of the isupk um and again you, you can't you can't disprove this information man okay you're, you're just getting disproven each and every single day okay and you will continue to be disproven until you man up and accept the scriptures and sadly i don't see that happening but anything could happen though uh, but anyway, I hope that was edifying. Anybody who made it this far into the video, put hashtag ETT in the comment section down below. With that being said, I'm going to say shalom.